or what tactics do we use to peacefully reestablish freedom, the Constitution in the United States of America, as we go down the rabbit hole of tyranny, at what point do peaceful tactics no longer, what, how long, until they're no uh, longer viable? You know, that, that is a tough question because it's something I think we'll all have to face, and that is uh, who should and when should you practice civil disobedience? And some even say, will it ever lead to violence? You know, the founders said that you have the Second Amendment because the Second Amendment protects you against abuse of government. I don't think we're anywhere close to that, but we do need to protect the Second Amendment. And I think civil disobedience is a very important tactic. I mean, uh, when you think of what uh, Gandhi achieved, you know, in India, and what uh, Martin Luther King achieved with nonviolence, but they also went to prison for this. And uh, although I endorse that principle, I have chosen the alternative, and that is working with the, within the political system. As long as we can organize and that we are not dictated to, uh, and told what we had to believe in what we can do. I can still run for office. I can still win a congressional seat. And we, in the Campaign for Liberty, have chosen to work within the political system. But I can foresee a time not too far off. Let's say we keep getting ourselves more involved in these senseless wars around the world and they reinstitute the draft. You know, selective service is still there. I think a lot of young people are going to say, hey, what am I going to Georgia for? They don't even know where Georgia is in this country. They think it's Atlanta, Georgia, you know. But they're going to send troops or something maybe in a place around the world, and they're going to say, you know, maybe I ought to practice civil disobedience. The tax code, the tax code is in shambles. It's collected in a very unconstitutional fashion. Already people practice civil disobedience. But, boy, that is a personal choice. It's a tough one. And the government still have more guns than we have, and therefore you're taking on some real serious responsibility. But uh, ultimately, conditions could get worse where people have to make a tough decision on whether or not they will uh, practice peaceful civil disobedience.